So, as I was just about to make another pocket cam video, uh, I usually do one a month, but, uh, anyways, I was getting ready to do it, and the A string popped right out of the block, um, while I was ripping, um, I was kind of mad, but at the same time, honestly, it's the first time I've ever had anything happen with the Floyd Rose Special, and I've been lucky enough knock on wood to uh, get this far without it being messed up but I mean it's always been kind of on the level I only had to make a few adjustments here and there um that's a closer look at it but it slipped out of the block and I had to tighten the block uh and I guess I not when I changed the string last I uh didn't have a good connection on that string when I cut it like it had a little bit of extra frail hanging or something and it just slowly stretched until it man it's so hard for it to focus with the uh, finish i got on this it's a gloss bit glossy i just put lemon oil on it and it because it's a neck through guitar i'm always taking good care of it um besides writing mad hatter and my signature on the back um and i took those stickers off but the action on this thing is amazing the neck is super thin i, I mean this the inlays are beautiful I'll just, I mean, I'll just show you the guitar itself. Even after uh, having some problems, I just hurried up. There's a tuner built into the black truck, and I uh, tuned it up real quick. But, I mean, here's how it is, clean and stuff. Yep. This one is.
I'll stop with all the noise, but no, Floyd Rose problems happen, and uh, it's just, if you don't keep up on the maintenance with it and take care of it, whoa, don't let that sit on your side as a King V either. But no, I don't think I've ever showed this side of my guitar. It's actually Super BA, guys, the KVXMG. Floyd Rose problems. Sorry if I made you watch this. Actually, I don't make you watch this. You watch this yourself. But yeah, later y'all.